Look at this shit out of Baltimore. I love it. Like, it's more quiet. You don't see kids running around without an adult, and I appreciate it. Rochelle Rowley spent Friday evening at the mall in Columbia with her family and friends. And she says that she's noticed a difference since the mall started its new youth escort policy. All the young ones were starting to come here and get really rowdy and just interrupt the peace of being able to just shop. Anyone under the age of 18 must be accompanied with an adult who is at least 21 years old on Fridays and Saturdays after 4 p.m. During those hours, trained security officers like this guy will be at the doorways checking IDs for anyone who appears to be under the age of 18. And if they pass, he'll offer them one of these risks. Now, here, look at what they have to do. Look what they have to do because of black kids at the fucking mall in Colombia, a fucking very, very nice city. But because it's close to Baltimore and it's close to D.C., you have to do this shit. And then you have to put this fucking guy's life in jeopardy. Because if he asked the wrong son team for a wristband, what time you get off, cuz? You what time you get off? <laughs> oh, oh, you, you 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 oh you think oh you think you somebody you ain't shit. Fuck that badge, nigga. Um <laughs> we you, uh, I know what time you get off. We be back up here when you get off. Like, I mean, this guy's this guy's job is fucking dangerous, man. He got a dangerous job. Trained security officers like this guy will be at the doorways checking IDs for anyone who appears to be under the age of 18. And if they pass, he'll offer them one of these wristbands. And if they don't, he might have to tell them to leave. <laughs> uh -oh. After police made three arrests back in January while responding to a large group of disorderly teenagers at the mall. Mall officials said the policy is to ensure that Look the mall... Place. <laughs> Look how nice it is, man. Have you been here, Alec? Huh? Have you been here? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been out so here. Is Columbia. this like an outside mall? Yeah. Col listen, Columbia, I've been, I've been, I've, I've drove, driven through this. I've never gotten out the car here, but I've driven through here and I've been to other parts of Columbia. Only some people could fuck this place up. We, it, but it's a, it's like an open air mall, though, right? It looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's It's a special type of fucking piece of shit it takes to like this is yeah. it's nice out there it was night nice. it's nice it's just nice man there, there's a mall identical to this uh, called oak brook mm -hmm. same exact way you described it identical yeah it's just nice man nice area man it's nice but you know what you know who's doing you know what of course of course who does that's who's doing new or what and, and, and again i it doesn't make me feel good to say i mean i'm sure you know that it just is what it is it just is what it is. Think about it. Like I say all the time, the little Asian kids now have to fucking have a chaperone when they go to the mall. The little white kids now have to have a chaperone when they go to the mall. The little Ombrito kids now have to have a chaperone when they go to the mall because they can't single out the black kids. They can't just say, well, the black kids are always in here fighting. The black kids are always stealing. The black kids are always doing smash and grab. The cat kids are always hijacking people in the fucking in the parking lot. The black kids are always playing a knockout game. The black kids are always harassing people. Um, so we're going to make a law that only all black kids have to um, have a wristband when they come to the mall. No, it's every team of every race punished for this shit. During those hours, trained security officers like this guy will be at the doorways checking IDs for anyone who appears to be under the age of 18. And if they pass, he'll offer them one of these wristbands. This comes after police made three arrests back in January while responding to a large group of disorderly teenagers at the mall. Mall officials said the policy is to ensure that the mall is a family-friendly environment. Rolly's niece is a teenager and is split on the policy. A lot of teens would just kind of act like they don't have no home training, so I understand. But in some cases, for some friends that just want to come to the mall and just hang out and be civilized, it's kind of hard. We hung out at the mall. Yeah, and, and now you know how the other people racist feel. That's exactly how they feel. Like, why the fuck we can't just come to the mall and fucking hang out because fucking goddamn she boons like you fucking acting like assholes up there. Well, his niece is a teenager <laughs> and a split on the policy. A lot of teens would just kind of act like they don't have no home training, so I understand. But in some cases, 
for some friends that just want to come to the mall and just hang out and be civilized, it's kind of hard. We hung out at the mall and saw a security turned some groups away. Look at these kids getting turned away. They turned away these fucking tigers. Like, Yikes. <laughs> 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 They they confused and confused as shit. Like, Yo, what that's do you mean? crazy, bro. Oh, but, but you know these tigers are gonna take it like champs, Ike. Yeah, they they're not gonna come back and kill this guy, or they're not gonna come back and beat this guy. They're not gonna see this guy some at another time somewhere else. Hey. Off duty they and they might even bow. Like, they're oh, just, we can't come they're in. Gonna, they're, they're, just, they're just gonna go to another store. That's it. They're exactly. Go they go somewhere else and spend their money. Yeah, bro, thanks for telling us. We didn't know. Okay, now we know. So next time we right. come, I'll bring, they, they, I'll bring my fucking parents next time I come to the mall. They, they might even apologize. These kids, like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is crazy, yo. This is crazy. We ruined everything. Kind of hard. We hung out at the mall and saw security turn some groups away. No, no, no. At one point, some actually rushed through security. Some teenagers we spoke with off camera said that I they're- I don't blame them little fucking kids, man. These look like some on burritos that was like, man, fuck this shit. Yo, so think about this, I, the, the rule for them, they still said, man, fuck that rule. They still doing them. <laughs> Crazy, the, 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 the Asians turned around and left. And the sons just fucking walk right past the female security guard. <laughs> <laughs> Book bags and all type of shit, bro. Wow. You can't make this shit up. Well, you can't. Like, like we say, tr truth is stranger than fiction. Like, you could not write this. No one would believe this. If you came to a fucking movie producer <laughs> or a fucking editor of publishing house and wrote this story... They will fucking laugh you out the building, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Right, right. Like, I get like, like, right. And like you, and like you, and like you said, they put these people's life in danger. Like, look at this girl. Like, right, like, seriously. Young kids, these kids just ran up in there like it was nothing. Like, man. right, I like I like imagine going up to the Hollywood and tell them, check out this scene, right? So some <laughs> kids get everybody banned, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Right, man. I mean, it's just insane. We hung out at the mall and saw security turn some groups away. No, no, no. At one point, some actually rushed through security. Some teenagers we spoke with off camera said that they're not fans of the policy and feel like it's punishing teenagers who do follow the rules and think some stores could lose money from teenagers who like shopping there. Either way, many people. This white girl, she had to give her ID to get in. This white girl, so she's obviously... Oh, this might be a tiger. I don't know what blonde hair, but whatever this is, she's over fucking 18 because she got to go in. But she had to stop here and show her ID to get in the fucking ball. Yeah. <laughs> teenagers who do follow the rules and think some stores could lose money from teenagers who like shopping there. Either way, many parents told us they think it's a good step. I'm glad they are finally implementing something that's going to keep the peace. Now, this is similar to some policies that we've seen at other shopping centers across our area, such as Towson Town Center and the Avenue at White Marsh. Reporting live here in Columbia. Un-fucking-believable. <laughs> like, and, and, and that still won't stop it, though. That's the crazy part. It right. could slow it down, but shit, you just never know. It just Gunfire really might erupt. When I, was, when I was younger... I'm 43 years old. When I when we was younger, we used to go up in malls and shit. Like like we used to go to like 15 deep, 20 like that shit. Imagine like like somebody at the door, stop all of us coming in the malls. Oh, right, man, that shit's crazy, man. Right, right. dead. You Salute can't stop all of them. <laughs> Salute to my man Doug S. Man, Doug. He says you forgot to push Smash for Angie Craig. Yeah, Angie Craig. Is a MILF man. Shout out to Angie Craig. 